What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you about special lines in circles. And we're going to cover a couple topics you're probably already familiar with, but we're also going to cover a few topics, including chords, secants, and tangents that might be a little newer, right? So here you can see we have this circle over here, and we got this line going through it. We got this other line here and this line down here, right? Bunch of stuff going on. So we're going to answer these questions to get a better idea of what each of these things are, all right? So the first one, start and simple, right? Name the circle. So the circle right here, as you can see, has a center right here at C. So the way that you name a circle is normally by the center, okay? So here we could call this circle, circle C, all right? We could call it circle C. All right, the next one says name two radii, right? So two radiuses. So the two radiuses, well, remember, just a radius is just a line or a segment that goes from the center of the circle to any edge on the circle, right? So for instance, this line or segment right here from C to A, that would be a radius. And also on the other side, right, from C to D, that would also be a radius, right? Now here it says name two chords. So a chord is just a segment whose endpoints are on the circle, right? So as you can see here, we have uh, this line right here, okay? So from B to H, that's a chord, right? Because it's a line where the endpoints are on the circle, okay? Uh, so again, we can say B to H, segment BH is a chord. And another chord would be from A to D, right? And this is kind of a special kind of chord, right? Because this is specifically the diameter. And we know it's the diameter because it goes through the center of the circle. Okay, so again, segment AD is also a chord. All right, next it says name a diameter. Well, we kind of already did that, right? So we said that this chord is a special kind of chord. It's specifically the diameter, right? So this diameter is AD. All right, next one says name a secant. So a secant is a little different from a chord because it goes through the circle, all right? It doesn't just end at the edges of the circle, but rather it goes straight through the circle and it, hit, it goes through the circle at two points, right? So as you can see, in this case, this line right here, right, from K to G, this would be a secant. So it's line... K, G. Okay, and lastly, it says name a tangent and a point of tangency. All right, so a tangent is just a line that intersects the circle at one point, right? So a tangent would be something like this line down here. Okay, because you can see this tangent, it just touches the circle at this point right here, right? So it only intersects the circle at one point. Okay, so the tangent would be this line from G, sorry, I drew that one a little low last time, should, the point should be about here, so G, E, right, so that line right here, uh, and let's put it here, so line G, E, okay, and it also says, and name a point of tangency, so the point of tangency, again, is just the point where this tangent intersects the circle. So that's at this point right here at F, right? So we could just say point F, boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.